Okay, for our last example, what we want to look at is designing a resistor with wire. So basically, you'll remember that the resistance of a wire is equal to its resistivity times the length of the wire over the area. So this is how we design a wire, or design a resistor with wire. And you can do any, all sorts of different things with it. Um, if you've ever seen a resistor on a printed circuit board, it might look something like this. So what they're doing is they're just trying to increase the uh, amount of length there. Basically, you end up, since you have a, you'll have a uniform thickness and a uniform width, and you're just trying to increase the length there to get the pro proper resistance. So in this case, um, we're doing basically the same thing. We want a 100 ohm resistor um, of a given wire type. So this isn't like a printed circuit board, but it's the same sort of idea. And we want to know what the length of that wire is going to be, going to be so that we have the resistance we want, which is 100 ohms. Okay, now there are two things we need to do for this is we have to find the resistance resistivity of copper and that's something you have to look up and then we need the area of 24 gauge copper wire and there's no way you're going to know that off the top of your head but again it's something you can look up you can look it up on the internet like I did and you find that the area of 24 gauge copper wire is 120th or, or one fifth 0 0.2 of a square millimeter. Okay, so it's a very small sort of thing. Um, I will not tell you about, I will not complain about Lee Child's novel. So Lee Child's first Jack Reacher novel screws up a different kind of gauge, um, shotgun gauges. I don't know why he thinks uh, 22 rifles um, barrel is a 22 gauge barrel. It, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It would it be a, that would be a 60 caliber, um, a 60 caliber gun. So I mean that doesn't make any sense to me. But I mean that th those are just huge. I mean you've you've all seen a 20 gauge shotgun. And, and, you know, just compare that to a um, 22. I mean, it's just, I don't know how somebody who wants to write about guns and murder can make that um, error. Anyways, so we can also look up the copper resistivity. It's very low. Copper is a, is, has a very low um, resistance, resistivity, actually. So that's in microohm centimeters. So that's actually 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters, but it's usually reported in microohm centimeters. So now we've got all these things, we've got everything except the thing we want, right? We want to find that. We've had to look up the um, rho and the A, and the resistance to the target, um, what is that thing? Resistance is 100 ohms. So we're saying 100 ohms is equal to 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters times the length that we want divided by the area which is 0 0.2 millimeters squared um, actually I should have done that in um, scientific notation that is uh, one fifth of times ten to the minus six meters squared. Okay, so now we want to find that L. Again, now we've got this stuff here. So L is going to be equal to 100 ohms times one fifth times ten to the minus six meters squared divided by 
1.7 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms per meter, ohm meters, excuse me, ohms times meters. So that cancels out one of the meters, and that cancels out the ohms there. Um, 100 divided by 5 is 20. It's 20 divided by 1.7. All right, times um, 10 squared meters. Okay, so that's 20 over 17 times 10 to the 3 meters. So that's, ooh, I screwed this up slightly. 1. 0.17 meters, okay? So that's pretty good, except on this slide I screwed that up. There's no kilo. It's just 1,170 um, meters. So it's 1.17 kilometers. So what did I say? 1.17 kilometers, okay. I don't have enough battery to redo this. Okay, so let's see. Um, what have I done? I've taken this here, and I've said, okay, this is my design equation for a resistor, a resistor made out of a metal. You can make resistors out of other things. Basically, they're metals. Um, the resistance is the target, in this case, target. And then we look at these other things, and what we find out is these two things we have to look up. We are actually given the area, when we're told it's a 24 gauge um, copper wire, and we're told that it's copper means we're actually given the resistivity. There's some issues with that, but not really. And, and we use all, just plug all those numbers in and find the length. So that's more or less all you have to do with this particular setup. All right. So I think that's enough for today, um, especially because, let's see, how much do I have? I have 22% left. I don't know if that's real or if that's um, Memorex. All right, so I will talk to you uh, next time. Um, I hope that's pretty soon. Yeah, it better be pretty soon because I've got six done, but I don't have seven. So um, I'll have to do a little bit of work to get this ready for you. All right. Uh, talk to you next time. Bye now.